Hello and welcome to video number five. In this specific video, you're going to learn how to install WordPress and set it up through cPanel. And then I'm going to give you a quick overview of the WordPress area on how to use it and how to make it search engine friendly. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, in order to install WordPress through cPanel, you need to have cPanel, but cPanel is so widely used that if you go the mainstream route and you get a shared hosting plan with the company that has cPanel, then you can actually do this. But in order to do this, you need to log in. And to do that, it's usually at yourdomain.com slash cPanel. Then the web hosting company should give you the username and password that you can use to log in. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna log into my cPanel and show you how to set up WordPress. After you have gone to yourdomain.com slash cPanel, entered your username and password, you should see cPanel, as you can see here. Now, what you need to do is scroll down and you should see a blue smiley face here. Most web hosting companies use this and this click on the smiley face here and you're going to be looking for WordPress. So click on WordPress, click new installation. You have two different options. You can either install the WordPress blog onto your main domain name. If you want to do that, simply leave this blank. If you want to install WordPress into a specific folder, then you'll need to enter the folder here. In this case, I'm going to leave it as it is, and you want to enter your username and password. What I recommend is to use something other than admin, so something else, different username. Enter your username and password. Enter your site name and your description and your email address. Do all that, click on install WordPress, and I'll see you in the next step. And after that, click on finish installation. Make sure to enter your email address here. Click send email. And there we go. Now you can access the administrator dashboard of WordPress. Simply enter your username and password. Click on login. And there we go. Now what I want to do is simply walk you through the WordPress site and just to show you around, the first thing you're going to see is basically the dashboard. You can find WordPress news, WordPress blog news, new plugins, and so forth. At the left hand side here, you can create posts, categories, tags. You can add media like pictures, videos, and files. You can create galleries. You can create pages. You can moderate comments here. You can change the look and the design of your site, which are called themes. Widgets basically give you the ability to just customize your site. You have menus, basically navigational menus. You have a header, you got background, you have an editor. You have plugins, which are basically small little applications that allow you to run your site. You have users, so you can add authors, guest posters, people that can submit content to your site. We have tools. We don't really use this as much. And then we have settings. Settings under general settings. You have, you can change your site title, your tagline, your time zone and other stuff like that. You have under writing, just the way things are formatted. We have reading and reading basically allows you to display whatever you want to appear on the front page, whether it's your latest blogging posts, whether it's a static page, 
And then we have discussion that relates to comments, approving comments, uh, moderating comments, blacklisting certain people with certain you know words. We have media sizes and permalinks. Permalinks basically allow you to make your site more search engine friendly. You can also install plugins that will also help you do that. But the bottom line is you need to have permalinks set as post name in order for it to look more search engine friendly. So make sure you click on post name and from that point click on save changes and that's it.